Hey everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Seems as if Void Interactive has come out with a statement here, so let's go ahead and hop into it. It says, Dear supporters and enthusiasts of Ready or Not, in our most recent newsletter, we provided updates on our progress, some insight into the PvP streamer event we hosted in May, and news concerning the subsequent release of the latest PvP build to our supporters. We also indicated that we would be considering the feasibility of our scheduled beta launch, and in light of the state of the game, the effects prompted by the COVID-19 situation, and the bigger picture of Ready or Not Beyond the immediate circumstances, Void Interactive holds a vision for Ready or Not that provides tactical, gritty, real-world immersion that will place our players in the boots of Elite SWAT team. It is the work that we are doing today that will reinforce the foundation for a solid entertainment experience for years to come. As such, we have decided to extend our alpha period beyond June. To be clear, this means that we do not feel the game is ready to enter beta. Additionally, and in order to avoid any further disappointment, we are not prepared to project a new date for the beta at this time. It is not easy to arrive at this decision but we appreciate the wisdom of many of our supporters who encourage a delay in contrast of a beta launch of a product that is not ready as we move forward we will schedule releases based on the achievement of a high quality standard as opposed to obituary and often rushed deadlines our website will be updated over the next few days to reflect these changes co-op and single player content will remain under nda while pvp will stay nda free what does this mean for those who bought the supporter edition you will continue to have access to the ready or not alpha and partake in regular updates and continue to have the opportunity to provide essential feed to the ongoing development of the game through the available in-game tools or the private supporter discord server and forums which are continually monitored by the team this means you will continue to have access to both the single player co-op build and the nda free pvp build along with any subsequent updates supporters of course maintain their right to a free copy of ready or not's first expansion a digital copy of the game's original soundtrack, their listing in the game's credits, and the FBI HRT pack. And, as a thank you for your continued support and patience, we will also be granting supporters two additional DLCs. Oh, cool. The South Central Weapon Pack and the MLO Weapons Pack, both arriving on full game release. Oh, cool. So we're getting more shit for what we paid for. Nice. What does this mean for the Standard Edition buyers? We understand that the Standard Edition buyers may be upset about the delay, given they were looking forward to playing the Ready or Not beta in June. However, we believe that this delay will ultimately result in a much better gaming experience down the road. As a consideration for your inconvenience, current standard edition buyers as of this as of the day of this announcement will also receive the MLO weapons pack on the full game release, as well as be emailed a coupon code for a 60% discount off the price to upgrade to the supporter edition. Oh, interesting. 60% of 120, that's so that's like 72 bucks. So would that mean that they would have to fork out $72 or do you add an extra 32 on top of the $40 that they already paid? So he needs to explain that to me. Because I'm sure a lot of people bought into the standard edition because they didn't want to fork out $120. I'm curious to know how many people are actually going to give them more money just to get into the alpha edition. Because with the updates that we received, it's really not been worth it. We are very grateful to all our supporters who through their purchase allow us to continue to put in 100% effort into the development of Ready or Not. With all revenue going towards the development of the game, we are confident with our progress and look forward to showing more when it's ready. So I'm glad that they didn't wait until the last minute to tell us that this was going to be delayed. But not gonna lie, they had us in the first half, I'll tell you what. Void has a track record of like waiting until like the last day of the month to be like, oh well, it's not gonna be in this month. But they didn't do that this time around, okay? So that's that's good. That's a start, I guess. So for those of you that don't know, whenever Void Interactive decides to push something back, they usually put out like some sort of date, you know? But it seems like this time around, they're actually learning learning from what they've done in the past which is don't put out a date like you guys are basically shooting yourself in the foot when you say that something is supposed to come out on a specific date i don't know why they felt the need to have specific dates but it seems like they've learned i know that a lot of people aren't going to be happy about the delay but in order for a game to actually be good you have to make sure that it's actually finished and from what i played back in the event and then after the event this game just has so many bugs so the delay is good and i really like how they're actually giving more stuff to people who purchase the $120 edition because I feel like me supporting this game hasn't been worth it. But that being said, we are going on what? five months now without an update for the supporter edition like this newsletter is fine and dandy but we here in the alpha edition have nothing to do like faq i love the guy okay like he's trying his best but anytime that he wants to start up a pvp event nobody shows up because they're waiting for updates and you want to bring more people in here oh, okay if that's how you feel 
Again, this is a good newsletter to keep us informed, but at the same time, I wish that they would actually give us updates so that we can actually test their game and see that they actually took our feedback into consideration. I mean, wasn't that the point? Like, is that not what it says on the Alpha Supporter Edition thingy-majig over there on the website? Well, at least when you get that discount, it's actually going to make the game more worth it. So what are your thoughts? Are you glad that they delayed the game? Do you like the direction of the game? Let me know what you think down below because I'm going to get the hell out of here. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then why don't you go ahead and like the video, comment and share down below now, if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye